So Indrani sent me something, as she often does, because she goes to sleep far later than I do. And I mean, we go to basically go to bed at the same time, but she'll stay up. So this morning, I see something she sent to me. And it's a really cool video. And this guy's talking about how, I guess, archaeologists and teachers believe that one of the reasons, a contributing factor that makes South Indian languages more swirly twirly mm -hmm. and Hindi and Bengali more straight lined when you look at them mm. is because of what they were written on originally. Because Bengali and Hindi were written on wood, mm. which it's you want to be more firm. And the South Indian languages were written on leaves. Mm. And if you write that hard with straight lines, you could tear it. So they were more gentle with the leaves and more firm on the wood. Sounds made up to me. Get your facts right, Indrani. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. content. Thank you, every source on Patreon. Follow juicy, Twitter, juicy, Twitter, juicy. My, my C7 is spitting out juicy content into my nerves. It's giving me pain all day. A night I can't sleep. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you're I'm really actually doing, feeling. I'm actually doing much better. Thank to, thanks to thank Russ. Thank to. Dr. Russell Ellis. Russ Ellis is the guy who helped me when I first hurt my back. Before you were born. Sounds like a bitch. Yep. Uh, today, we got a uh, casting game again. Oh, great. Um, casting Indian actors in Hollywood franchises. That's already being done. Her name is Priyanka Chopra. But don't. Uh, but please do better than Baywatch. Anyways. Speaking. Oh, no. I will not. What? Okay. Casting Indian actors in Hollywood franchises. Okay, let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. Read the rules. You will be given two major Hollywood franchises, and you need to suggest Indian actors if they are remade in India. Try not to think region-specific. Raga, be as diverse as possible. In the next slide, I will suggest the actor which I would cast along with any of my explanation as well. Try to understand my reason as well. And... <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay, Ooh. so... Okay, so this is the film. Are we going to be given pictures of the roles as we... Okay. No one. Sorry. You have to. Okay. You have to. But You've here's been, the thing. You're the casting director that's Literally been hired. Literally no one this is, would be able so, to make that character what he did. Not a soul on the planet. So They almost fired him for what he did. They did. Of the... Of the I'm going to say five... Most iconic, Might be. important, and memorable characters ever created in Hollywood cinematic history. Yeah, Top five. Probably easily, yeah. Is Captain Jack Sparrow. Many would say for them it's their number one, and I wouldn't be able to argue with them. Yeah. And what he did was so bold. We're so used to it now. Yeah. But it, you probably heard At us talk about he the story. He got stories. nominated for an Oscar for a Disney film. And, and producers, when they sent the dailies to the producers... They said, what the hell is he doing? Are you drunk? He's going to... Is he drunk? Yeah, is he on drugs? Are you gay? He's going to he ruin the movie. Yeah. Uh, and he almost got fired <laughs> for for what he was doing with it. Because obviously he's such, then, a, he's such a weird character. And, and now they're... Disney didn't do right by him. They should have no, treated no, him the no, way no, Marvel no. has treated Downey. Yeah. Because he's responsible for the franchise. Yep. Not is. your ride. No. So anyway, now that we're off our um, high horse. So yeah, it's literally... It would be an impossible task. Whoever is cast as the Jack Sparrow well, would literally okay. need to do something completely different. So here's the thing. Because even somebody like me, I, and I'm just a humble brag, I am the most perfect impersonator I've ever heard of the voice of Johnny and Jack Sparrow. I've heard a lot. There's people that look way better. There's one guy at Disney. He looks... Oh, he looks exactly like incredibly him. Incredibly like him. He does. His impression the is... The voice is terrible. God-awful. Yeah. It's god-awful. Yeah, it's I've bad. never heard anybody do a better voice impression than myself. Humble brag. Sorry. But, um... I would not if I like if they were like yeah we need a cat. I was like no. No, I'm I would gonna, But here's the thing. I'm not gonna do that. So, here's the thing. Are you casting it as if you're doing it and someone is trying to replicate what Johnny did? Or are you starting from scratch and letting somebody create a completely different Captain Jack Sparrow? Because I don't know how you can. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
Anyways, we're all right, so let's assume. Too much. Let's assume they're they're. You they're, know who I think would be a really fun one though. VJ Ross. Yeah, I don't know if he's sexy enough because Jack is. He's, is, is he's got to be sexy. A lot of people have a big fetish for uh, for. Oh, well, and Johnny Depp's yeah. a beautiful man. Yeah, especially back then, man. Um, so I don't know if VJ would be sexy enough, but he would definitely bring the weirdness level, right? Yeah, the, the first person that came to my mind is Shahid. Renvier as well, I think could do it. And he, yeah, he, he the, has a lot more of that energy, but I don't know if that's too much energy. That's the thing. I think Shahid would pull it back. Granted, we've seen Sh- Renvier pull back. He on, does. So all of he it, does. But if if, if if I was choosing between the two, I love Renvier. Oh, what about KK Menon though? He would do a great job. I think he might be too pulled back. Yeah. Shahid can go. See, the thing I like about Shahid is it isn't just that he can bring energy; he can bring crazy. Yeah. And Jack needs to have a little crazy. That. So like I'm, said, I'm leaning, I'm leaning like Shahid. Said, none of them would be able to do it at all. But if you're like creating like a new style, my God, that's such an impossible role. It is. <laughs> it's such an impossible role. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go VJ Ross. I actually like that. Right there. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can see it. I yeah, sure. Um, it's it'd be a oh, is that a real picture? I'm sure it is. Runveer gets around, man. Oh. <laughs> I love those two. Captain Bobosa and his crew of miscreants. You know what? I could get that. What? I've tried to mess around with Barbosa's voice. I could oh, get yeah, that. Oh yeah, you can voice. definitely get it. Yeah. He'd be he'd be somebody I could do. I don't look like him, but I could definitely Yeah, yeah. Jeffrey Rush, man. Jack. <laughs> nah, we named the monkey Jack. Uh, let's see. All right. Jeffrey Rush is such a stellar actor. I mean, I, I hate to pick who I always do, but Pankaj would be good. I think Prakash Raj in Tamil could also do it quite well. Yeah, there's um, something about there's something about those eyes, man. There's an intensity. There's and it's the theater background of Rush. So I'm Nasir. No, Nasir could do it, but I also want some stature, especially with with Jack. Because part of the thing that works with Barbosa, especially in the first film, is that he seems a bit intimidating to Jack. Uh-huh. Jack needs to be intimidated by Barbosa, and and it's and it's not just a persona; it's a physicality. So I'm Captain gonna Barbosa. I'm gonna lean toward. This is tough. I'm going to go punk, gosh. That's not a bad call. I'm going Jai Deep. I like it. I like it. Yeah. 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 He can nail any role. See him. It would be good. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> sea turtles <laughs> um <laughs> that's such a fun role it's a really fun role um i'm trying not to get too, too stuck on looks because i think anybody can play this role um pankash could do it again he, he, but Pank- he needs some zhush he needs some verve he needs some energy because this character is not a yeah, he's he's got he's got some Nawaz could chutzpah. do it. Because you have to bring some comedy chops too. Nawaz does right. have that. Um. Oh, yeah. You know who I would love to see in that role? I think would do a really good job. Mm. On your egg cushy up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go with that one. I like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's even better. Funny enough, I was just thinking about him because I was—I don't know his name, but I was trying to think about him for Barbosa. I'm like, who's that bigger cop? Like, he usually plays a cop, bigger guy. Yes. Um, and that note is spot on. You need somebody who's very solid but can disappear and not be the center of attention. Yeah. That is exactly why that role works. Yeah, it's a good one. Great. Say his name because uh, I don't think we've ever. Sarub Shukla. Yeah, that's a hard one for me. William Ten. What a career gift that guy had, man. You know, he never, you know this, never did a thing before he got cast in Lord of the Rings. And it shows. 
Uh, I don't think of. Uh, he's a very attractive man. I think he's okay as an actor. He is. Uh, I don't think he's. He does a fine. Really, job. anything special? No, he does a fine job. Uh, he he's plays solid. Legolas. <laughs> Stephanie hates Legolas so much. Does she? She hates him. <laughs> That's, is she a dwarf at heart? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. She just not. doesn't like the person. She's a Legolas. hobbit at heart, is what yeah. She is. That's true. That's a hundred percent true. But she's like, all, all he does is just stare and say random nonsense. <laughs> you let you see that she, real. She hates the line. She was like, she looks. He looks out um, in the open. She says, "Um, the red sun rises. Blood has been spilt this night." I know. Like, what the so fuck does that mean? That's so terrible. <laughs> That's a terrible moment in the film. Have you seen the reel that says all of the lines that Legolas says to Frodo in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Nothing. And no, he just goes, and you have my bow. That's it. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, William, William Turner. Um, uh, VJ Varma uh, could could do a good VJ Varma is exactly the one who could play that role. Uh, so let's go with VJ Varma. Who? Oh, she hates younger brother. Okay. Oh! Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like VJ Varma better, though. Me too. <laughs> uh, teeth, well, teeth herself. Yeah, you need to have you need to have this. I mean, first would be Topeka. I mean, they kind of have a very similar vibe. Yep. Um, uh, you know my love for Radhika, but I think Radhika would be a little. Mm, um, I want her for a better role. Though. She does get a much more substantial role as the series goes on. Yeah, she does. But the films get substantially worse as the series goes on as well. But um, but Topeka has a very similar um, type of vibe to Kira Knightley in that except, this character yeah. needs to be both really vulnerable and in need of helping, yet also somebody who, when she makes the decision to do it, can kick ass. Yeah. Uh, and that's a hard combination to have. I would like Topeka. I, think I do Topeka too. Is actually Topeka is the best choice. A much better actress than um, Kieran Knightley, in my opinion. Um, and I think, once again, I think she's fine. Like her and Orlando Bloom are good together because they're both just attractive and fun. Yeah, yeah but Topeka, <laughs> Topeka, I think, would knock this out of the park. Yeah. Not a bad choice. As would she. Yeah, actually, but I, I, think, uh, uh, I think I like Topeka better in that role, in my opinion. But Tripti is great. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is for me, one of my favorite characters do ever it. in Can cinematic you history. You used to be able to do ninety nine yeah. souls. Ninety nine souls. How about this? I'll give you ten souls and a bottle of rum. Uh, not actually. That was my. That was the first time I ever did uh, Jack Sparrow on Vine, ever, and it was that line. It was that line. Uh, yeah, because it was for a contest, an impression contest. And that's how I started doing Jack Sparrow oh, wow. online, and I won the contest. I won a Mrs. Doubtfire contest on yeah. the radio. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I just, I remember when he first came out on screen, and it was one of those moments where I knew I was watching something really special, and it wasn't just the visual effects. It was CGI is better than the CGI now. It, it is. It, it still holds up. I just, I just watched it with Indrani a couple months ago. Better. And Bill, Bill now. is perfect yeah, he's so in good. this role. Perfect. Bill. So... Bill Nye, Bill the, Nye science the science guy. guy. Bill Nye. Um, um, K.K. Menon comes to mind. Vijay Raz comes to mind. I know I'm doing all Hindi here. Um, so difficult. I mean, it's mostly CGI, obviously. Um, so you don't have to do outside of eye work. I don't know. This is a tough one. Got any guesses? Yeah, actually. Um, just looking this up. Indian actors. Indian actors. Male. Just so I can see them. Not Amir Khan. Anil Kapoor. Ooh, Akshay. That could be fun. No, he, uh, I don't, that's not. That could be fun. I don't think so. Well, all the water. Ajay Devgan. Uh, Amresh Puri. Yes. Manoj Bajpayee. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, you know who would have been perfect. Akshay with all the water. That's you know perfect. Been perfect, actually. You're fun. 
He would have been perfect. His Ir- eyes. Irfan would have been perfect. Yeah, he would have been perfect. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Kamal could do it. Kamal anything. could do anything. <laughs> and that voice, Kamal would be a great choice. Yes. I agree. That's fine. Oh. Oh. What? Uh, well, I, another, in, another impossible thing. Because I know who you're going to do here. So, yeah. <laughs> when we get to you know who, that's even bigger for me than <laughs> Captain Jack. Bruce Wayne. Uh, you got your you got your usuals here. Uh, in Hindi, Ranveer I think would be a great Batman. Um, I think Vicky Koshal would Vicky be Koshal would be a great, a great Batman. Batman. Uh, Shahid, if you're doing Tamil, uh, SK I think could do a, a very good Batman. Um, I think Ram Charan would make a great Batman. Ram Charan would make a fantastic Batman. Um, I, that's my primary. My primary choices would be either Vicky Koshal or, or Ram, Ram Charan. Yeah, let's go with that. I like it. Dulker. Oh, Dulker yeah. would be a good Batman. That would be a good one as well if you're doing it in Malayali. Yeah. Malayali would never do a Batman. <laughs> they would do their own kind of Batman. <laughs> I would actually love to I'd see love it. I'd love to see it. A Malayali Batman. Uh, uh, okay, so who are the olds that we can pick here? <laughs> uh, Nasir, obviously. Yeah. Um, Nasir, Nasir is great because Nasir can carry that gentle quietness that Kane carries. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one who can carry that gentle quietness which is a, even a bigger stretch than a Nasir, is uh, Mamuts. Yeah, I, he might be too intimidating. That's the thing. He's such a powerful presence. Like, I even think um, as well, like, Rajakanth would be too intimidating unless he just didn't put the wig on. Then maybe. Yeah, maybe. No, I, but Or Amitabh might also be too intimidating. I think he could do it. Because, um, like, he's been... Like, who's the actor? It could be Nana Petakar as well. Uh, or or what? or that... Oh. Lal as well. Oh yeah, Lal. There's a here's the actor uh, looking up the cast of the film. For what? Bahubali. Other oh, one we just talked about. Oh, that old guy. Yeah, Nasar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. Yeah, I don't know. But Nas- Nasir might be my first. Nasir choice. Nasir is my first choice. And yeah, it wouldn't be awesome. But there's an intensity he has. Yeah, of course it would. He would need to. I mean, I guess we've. He can obviously. He can. He but can. There's a slight of build, and a slight granted. Of... It would just be a different take. Sure. Because in past, before Michael Caine, he wasn't always that old. No, he wasn't. He doesn't have to be. Um, because I think actually one of the best parts of uh, was it. Was it the Suicide Squad uh, Batman one? I didn't said, Suicide Squad. I know, but that, whoever played Batman in, in those ones, I forget who it was. I don't even know. The only thing I know about Suicide Squad is Margot Robbie and uh, Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Yeah. Uh, but Jeremy Irons played. Um, oh, he's uh, a good, that's a good choice. And I actually think there was a lot of stuff I thought was <laughs> good pieces to some of those films. But uh, as a whole, the films were just absolute garbage. But he played a very good um he would. Alfred. He would. And so it would just be a different take. Yeah. I'm not ever going to say Mahmoud is going to be a bad choice. <laughs> oh, Al-Ghul, yeah. Raz yeah. Al-Ghul. Well, if he was at the same age, Big B. Uh, I think Nawaz could play it quite well. Um, if you're going more south, industry... I, superstar Roger God would actually be fucking awesome to be Raz Al Ghul. That'd be badass. <laughs> that'd be so cool. That would be that'd be awesome. Let's go superstar. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he could of course he yeah, could, of course he could pull it off. Yeah. I'm just trying to do different stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, when they changed they her. They changed her. Uh and Katie Holmes was way better than Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yeah, sorry, Maggie. You're uh, a great director though. Um you're one hell of a director. You know why Kitty Holmes had to drop out? I, I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, it's but it's because of, uh, one of one of your favorite people ever. Um, Tom didn't want her to do it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Radhika Opti. <laughs> Everything's Radhika Opti. <laughs> no, you know who? I, first person that comes to mind mm. is, um, oh, there's two. Who? My brain. Come on, Mimi. Mimi? From the movie oh, Mimi. Oh, oh. Um... See? 
It's not just me. <laughs> it's not Tripty. I don't know. Tripty's name. That's what I was thinking. Is in my head. Uh, it's um, Creedy. Creedy. Yes. Yeah, she could definitely do it. That uh, actress from those two. Creedy Sonnen and Topsy Panu. The Tamil actress from both those uh, rom coms. Um, oh, I think could do a she's really good perfect. Job. Yeah, I think she could do a, a really good job as well. I'm never gonna. <laughs> <laughs> just for Corbin. If you're just gonna see an actress who has a badass edge to her, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be Roddy Cop Day for Corbin over here. <laughs> Ugh. It's so funny. I saw this thing that somebody was like they they saw uh Gary Oldman in something, and it's like, oh that's Commissioner Gordon. Wow. Like that's where you know like the goat from? God. It's actually such a unique role for him because this is not there a is, role. There is he arguably is, he is not known for this style of role. So you want to talk about shape shifting and and being completely different characters? I don't know that there's anybody whose yeah. filmography is more diverse than Gary Oldman. Yeah, uh, the number of characters he's played that are so drastically different. Hence why he's one of my favorites from ever. himself, which he's also. We got to meet him at a screening yeah. of the the movie he did about Churchill. And people don't do this. He not only stayed after to talk to people, but he came down off the stage to mingle and talk and stayed until everybody left and took pictures with everybody. Actors typically don't do that at SAG screenings. They typically just walk off the stage when it's over. Yeah. He made it a point to come down and hang out with everybody. Was really and he was really sweet. Uh, and this is so funny because if you saw this role, you're like, oh, that guy was good. And then if if you, you know who Gary Oldman yeah, is, you don't like, realize that was Gary. Yeah, that was Gary freaking old, <laughs> Oldman. Um, um, because your normal thought is like going to somebody that is like um, almost Nasir as like a, a calming older guy, just because that's how he kind of played him. Yeah, but that's not Oldman. That's not Oldman. That's why I'm like KK Menon would be right up there. KK Menon's my first thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, yeah, this was another one that was played uh, very differently um, because of uh, who Morgan Freeman is. Yeah. You could, uh, if you're just going iconic voices, you could go Lal uh, in this role. Um, Big B. If you're just going by the voice, the voices that are yeah. the icons of the uh, industry. Uh, Amitabh is not a bad choice. But I don't know if I believe Amitabh as a tech Genius. No, that's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> I guess he could. I mean, he could play anything, right? But yeah, he can. <laughs> he does need to be senior. I guess he doesn't have to be. But he's a superstar. A but make sure superstar doesn't have his wig. Love that. Didn't we already do superstar for one though? He was Ra's al Ghul, so he can't. Sorry. We casted him as Ra's Why not? Marvel's going to do RDJ <laughs> as Dr. Doom. <laughs> Why doesn't DC use him twice? <laughs> um, why do I feel like there's somebody else in South Indian cinema? There aren't. There's a bunch. Oh! He could, Prakash, you know who? Prakash Raj. Mahanlal. Yeah. Yeah, he could do Mahanlal. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Shakti Kapoor, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, we don't know or, him much. Um, uh, uh, Zaddy as well, I think, might yeah, be good in that role. Yeah, Zaddy would be Zaddy really Zaddy good in that role. role. If, no one. Yeah, it's... Um, obviously, you're going to say... Uh, we've said it before, and I think we've actually talked about it in a... In a we did a, a full, uh, I think, video once about who would be the best um, yeah. um, Joker. It'd be, once, well, once again, you'd have to just do your own thing. There's no point in trying to recreate somebody's performance. Which and... is which is the testament to Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. He, he just did a brand new approach, and that's what you have to do with a role like this. It'd be like doing The Godfather again. So I'm I mean, just... this is... The Joker's up there with Brando's Godfather. Yeah. So you'd have to... If you're... Obviously, most people are going to say, depending on your industry... The Usuals, Nawaz's, right. KK Menon's, VJ Raz, all would do a fantastic job, I think, um, and would bring their own styles. But if you're doing it like they casted it, yeah, 
he was a heartthrob that no one actually thought he could do this. My response when I read in the trades that he had been cast as the Joker, because the last Joker we had was Jack Nicholson. Yeah. I read it and I thought, Heath Ledger, what the hell are you doing? Yep. Uh, that, that was actually most people's response. <laughs> yeah. Before the film came out, no one actually liked the casting. Nope. Um, nope. Proved them all wrong. At all. Um, and then now nobody can think of anybody else in the role. Obviously, yeah. he's one of the most iconic so that's performances the key. ever. That's the key is I'm, I'm thinking way outside the box. Someone who would do. We, we said Renvere, and I think that could be a good choice. Yes. Um, but if you're thinking even more. My. Outside the box. The person I think that could do it and do it. I think Vicky it, actually could do it. In the way job. that, say, Joaquin has taken a new approach would be Nawazid and Siddiqui. Yeah, you could do that for sure. I think Vicky would actually be really interesting to see what Vicky would come up with because that would be almost. Agreed. Even though I think actually he, at a, current in his career, he's much more respected, I think, than Heath was at that time yes, in his you're career. You're right, as a thespian. At that time. Yeah. Um, because he now everybody respects him as a thespian, right? Because he's done Brook Big Mountain, he's done so many other things um, before he died. No, but comparatively, you're absolutely right. But in his career, Vicky is more respected as an actor than yes before The Dark Knight was out. Same with Nawaz. Yes, <laughs> but I think Vicky is more around the right age. If you were trying to replicate what they did with Heath, so Vicky obviously Nawaz could do it. Oh, you do. You can even do SK or uh, Sudia down in uh, down in the south. I'm just trying to think outside the box of somebody we've never seen in that kind of a role, and how would they do with it? A Yushman? We've never seen him in that kind of role. Raj Kumar Rao. Oh, yeah. He could do it. Yeah. Yeah, Fafa, Nawaz, Runvir. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I actually think it would be quite interesting to see what it he would, would do with it. would be interesting to see what he would do with it. Um, <laughs> uh, even though we, uh, especially Rick, have been coined the anti Ren Beer um, for whatever reason, uh, he, he we very much respect him as an actor. <laughs> and usually, the issues that we have with the movies he's in is not him. <laughs> Yeah. So if like, but and, if we I did, mean, I gave the guy the benefit of the doubt and rewatched Barfy because originally I didn't like him and then realized I was wrong. Yeah. Um, so we actually I actually don't think that's a bad choice at all. Yeah. I think he would actually do, I'd be very intrigued. And it would be go with uh, what uh, around. You know, I, I would be if I heard he was playing that character, I'd be excited to see what he yeah, was going to do. Absolutely. I would. Um. So, yeah, I, I don't mind the choice at all. Ugh. Okay. It's one of the greatest moments in the film because it's one of the worst. Yeah, it is. When he <laughs> Joker the comes in and Harvey Dent doesn't realize it's the Joker till he takes off the little COVID-19 mask. Yep. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, outside of Maggie Gyllenhaal, I actually think uh, the worst performance in the in the movie. It's the most troubling. For um, I think it could have been much better by, with another actor. Sorry, um, Aaron. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, um, <laughs> you got a nice paycheck out of that thing. Yeah. Um, let's see. Minoj could do it. Um, It'd be nice it, to it see. It needs to be a young, up and coming. Young, prosecutor. up and coming, and also somebody who we've always seen and has been portrayed as a sweet, good person. So that the two faced side after the accident becomes Raj really Kumar, shocking. Yeah, again. becomes really shocking to see them become so dark. You could do AK as well. That's who I was thinking of. Was AK? Yeah, you could definitely. I think AK could pull it off. AK. Yeah, let's do AK. Tavino oh, Thomas, Tavino could Thomas would be a great same thing. Easily, he would kill it. Um, and the same thing. He he comes across as a really nice, sweet person. <laughs> Subin would actually be a good Alfred, I think. In a, in a Subin would be a good Alfred in a, in a different universe. Yep. I think. Uh, Radhika Apte. That would be the role I would actually say for Radhika Apte over anything else that you've said before. <laughs> would be Catwoman. Topeka would be a great Catwoman. Yeah. Uh, but no, this one, I'm going to, I, um, uh, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be her. It's always, it was always. I got to go with, I got to go with, it's, it's a personal bias. Forgive me. It would be Priyanka. No, I don't like that casting. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You like did Tripti. You, yeah. Didn't you, yeah, already you do chose, Tripti? No, she did. Tripti was chosen for. Pirates. Was it different O's? Oh, so it was pirates. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you just. I think you have a favorite. I do. I That's think a good you favorite. like Tripty. She, Tripty's great. I love Tripty. Oh, all right. 
Or perhaps you're wondering why you would shoot a man before throwing him out of a plane. <laughs> Tom Hardy, another one of my favorite actors ever. Great actor. Um, all right. And so it needs to be somebody, obviously great actor, but also you need to be intimidating. Vicky always comes to mind. Because I actually respect Vicky very much. I think he might be the most versatile okay. of his generation. I'm going to shock all of you. What? Salman Khan. In in terms of physique, yeah, you're right. He does fit it. And and the opportunity for him to really focus and just I that'd be very intriguing to me is to watch Salman Khan try to play Bane. He would you would be able to cover his whole face. Um so he would just have to do eye acting. <laughs> He's got great eyes. Um, I'm telling you, shaved head. I would love to see Salman Khan. Yeah, try if, to be bad. If he bulked up, I think Shah Rukh Khan would actually be really fun in this role too. Um, he'd have to bulk up like Salman is, though. A lot. Um, who else is really bulky like that besides Salman? I know there's a couple others, but oh, oh, who? Ali Faisal. Yeah. Well, yeah. I. I that would be the, I think, more obvious choice. That's the most obvious choice. I think the bolder choice is Salman. Salman is the bold um, choice. And Junior NTR, I think, as well. I think, uh, yeah. Junior NTR could do it. He would need to he really would. bulk up. The, the Salman Khan choice gives you the box office, but as far as having the chops to pull off the role the way it needs to be done, which you need a Tom Hardy, yeah, that's the thing that would be really fun to see if he could surprise everybody and pull that out of the hat. Um, I think if Ali Faisal, you're, you're going to get what you need with Ali Faisal in every way. Yeah. 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 He could do that too. Yeah. Absolutely. He's, uh, we've met him actually. We met him uh, here when we, at uh, Comic-Con. Sweet I always guy. forget his name, but yeah, I agree. He, he's intimidating enough. He's big enough. He, uh, he's definitely big enough. Uh, he could absolutely do that. Vic Rump Messi. Yeah. hundred percent. Actually, I think Vic Rump could do Joker quite well. He, he too. probably could, but a hundred percent. He yeah. would do that. I, like, I agree. I like Vikram Messi. Who's that? Oh, oh, it's oh in the yeah, Archies. Archies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know enough about I it. I don't dislike it. You make good choices. Your uh, choices are all really solid. Like <laughs> well, there choices. you go. Yeah, yeah, I like your choices. I like your choices. Uh, and I'm sure there's a whole, like I said, for these things, <laughs> I need to have like a, a chart. <laughs> oh, I'm not kidding. We do. I need to make we a chart. We need to just hang it up back there with everybody on there just in so all can, the industries. Because I uh, we're from getting like 100 people Every time we do these, and we're just going. And people we love, especially the ones who we've seen them in three or four films and we love them, but we can't remember their names, like our beautiful actress and all the rom coms that we've just recently seen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I always forget uh, her name as well. Right. Um, but yeah, that was fun. This is a, a, a really impossible one. You, you picked quite a few icons. Yeah. Uh, well, two Jack roles that are two of the greatest roles in cinematic history. Two of my favorite roles ever. Ever. Um, but two of my favorite actors. Uh, they might be my two favorite actors ever. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I was going to say, how can they not? I mean, as far as you being inspired yeah. by and yeah. obsessed with, that, I, I, it's Heath and Johnny. Yeah, I love. Yeah. Especially like in my formative years of actors that I loved the most. And I was like, I want and, to be yeah, like that. If you could replicate a career, yeah. you'd do either one of those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, nowhere near as good, but uh, well, maybe some, depending on the role of Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's had some stinkers. He's had before. some stinkers. He's had some stinkers. Um, uh, but that was fun. Uh, I know there's a whole bunch. Of, I think Vic Ron Messi actually could do a, a good Joker. Actually, I think he would, or or Riddler. Yeah, he'd be a good one. Uh, yeah, if I ever did Riddler again. Um, I think that he would be a good role for that. Are you gonna see or have you seen anything of the Penguin series? I've only seen stills. I've, I've read, and Farrell's not going to like this, <laughs> I've read... Will Farrell? No, Colin. Ah. Uh, I've read he's freaking unbelievable, which is not a surprise, is. but... It's awful? He, well, he hates he hates the, the makeup. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has to sit for he hates 10 it. hours. I've seen him in interviews, and it's just... It, it literally drives him to, to madness, and he doesn't want to do it. I think he's signed on for three seasons if they want it. Ooh. But he hates it. That but talk about disappearing. That paycheck must be nice. Oh, yeah. 
That would be that be. But think about it, because not only do you have to be on set all day, yeah. Then before and after, so like if yeah. I know he has a family, so now you're away even more. Yeah, and when, when you when you consider you're at the place in your career that he is, which he's already a, a multi millionaire, mm -hmm. so this is extra money. Mm -hmm. It's not like if you and I were sitting in that chair, I'll sit there for 15 hours. I'm going to be, but this movie's making me a millionaire. Yeah, whatever you need me to do, I'll do it because this is an uncharted territory for me. For someone like him who can leave and go get another million dollar job. Yeah. That's dedication. Yeah. Anyway, I can't imagine how much it sucks. Yeah. That that was fun. Uh always fun. Thank you so much for making it. If you'd like to make us a game, you don't have to though, but uh if you'd like to, we you, like them. Um you can send us the email in the description of every single video. Just yeah. make sure it's Indian centric um and obviously make sure it's either in slideshow or video well, format. For we us. have been leaning toward Guatemalan recently. That's true. So, anyways, uh, let us know who you would cast in these roles and anything else down below. Josh.